Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to take our time take system and clean it up a bit. Let's get started. Alright, so in the previous video we created the time take system. After a certain amount of time, it fires a take event which any object can subscribe to. We have some buildings that I can click to spawn a building, and the building subscribes to the take event to handle the construction time. So you can see it goes up, gets constructed, all of that is handled by the take event. Now let's make our system more robust by automatically creating the game object and adding some static accessors. So let's first create a subclass to handle the mono behavior. So down here, let's make a private class time tick system object, which will implement mono behavior. Inside, let's copy the awake and update code in here. Let's also copy the tick timer, but leave the tick outside of it. We're going to make the tick static and on the awake in here, just for testing, let's do game object .add component of the time tick system object. All right, so let's test and everything should be working exactly the same. Yep, there you go, still firing ticks, everything's fine. So now let's make the time tick system a static class and remove the mono behavior. So up here, make it static and remove mono behavior. Without mono behavior, we do not have the awake. So we're going to have a create function that will automatically deal with creating the game object if necessary. Let's make a public static void create, and we're going to have to store a static game object for the time tick system game object on the create if the time tick system game object, if it is null, so if it does not exist, then we're going to make it a new game object and give it the name time tick system. And we're going to add the component of the time tick system object. All right, so now on our game handler, let's make sure to initialize the time tick system. So do time tick system dot create in here. And finally, we're going to go into our scene and we can now delete this game object since the time take system will automatically take care of instantiating its own game object when needed. All right, so let's test and yep, there you go. The ticks are still being fired and everything is working fine. And if we pause the scene in here, you can see that the time take system, the game object was automatically created. All right, so now just for a helper function, let's add in here, make a public static int get tick to return the current tick. And on the game handler, on the pop-up, instead of using the tick from the event args, let's go into the time tick system and get the current tick. So let's see if we're still seeing the same ticks. And there you go, one, two, three, four, five, everything's working perfectly fine. So there you have it. We took our time take system and cleaned up the code to automatically create the game object when needed and hide the update implementation. Our class is now very clean and only exposes the necessary functions. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.